Hey everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweet Peas. Today I'm going to have a, a little bit of a different video. So I recently created a blog post about my favorite apps that I use for editing photos, whether it be nail photos or just photos for the blog. And today I thought I would show you how I utilize Snapseed for editing my nail photos. So I'm going to show you it step by step. And yeah, I'm really excited. So let's go. So first up, I'm going to open Snapseed, I'm going to select my photo, import it, and we're going to get going. I have already made like pre-made templates for my watermarks because it only keeps like text or certain effects that you've saved. So here I already have my 25 sweet peas along the side of my nail and one in the bottom corner. I save it in this for each pose and then I can just kind of move it around if I need to, which you guys just saw me do. I moved over the one along the side of my nail a little bit to make it match for this exact photo because sometimes it varies upon the bottle size that I'm holding in the photos. But most of the time it saves a lot of time by having that little pre-saved thing that you can do in the free version of Snapseed. I don't think there's even a paid version. It's all free, which is great. So next up, we're going to go use the select tool, which is probably my favorite. We're going to mainly be utilizing it today. You can tell that there were a lot of shadows in the original photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go select the dark shadowed areas and brighten up, brighten those areas up just by sliding my finger over to the side. And that is going to fix the shadowing issue. And it's going to look a lot more like what you would actually see in a video if you're been watching my videos rather than the dark shadowed version and if you have any like areas that get too bright you can always drop another little selector and counterbalance it which I think will make a little bit more sense as we continue to watch this um, but it's really easy to do and you can pinch your screen to see what areas it is affecting as well which you're going to see in a minute when we tackle the kind of the right corner where it's actually a little dark. So here we're going to go in and go back to the selective tool because I've run out of like taps that I can use for that exact motion. But I'm going to go in and find this little dark area over here, brighten it up. As you guys can see, if you hold it down the selector, it kind of magnifies the area that you're looking at so you can make sure you're selecting the right shade. And I'm also going to do it right here. And you can see there I pinched it and it turned green. That is going to show you not green, it turned red. Um, and that is going to show you like where the action is going to happen. So here I wanted this little gray corner to turn more white because in all of my photos, you guys know I have a white background and this was just a little bit too dark for that. So I'm going in selecting very carefully because I don't want it to change the color or tone of my skin by any means. I just want it to white out the little background. So I'm going to continue to do that until it is up to my liking. Then this little corner over here is a little bit dark, so I'm also going to brighten that up. But again, I'm going to make sure it's only touching certain areas because I'm not here to change the or alter the color of skin by any means. I just want the background to be more white. Now, as you guys can see, there was one part in that top corner I just couldn't quite get. So what I have done is I have picked a more direct tool. So this is like a brush. Um, it is actually called the brush. And I'm going into exposure. I turned the exposure all the way up and I'm just going to draw out this little area here and highlight it. And it's going to turn the exposure in that area up all the way so that we have a perfectly white background because I wasn't actually able to get it 100% up in the very, very tip top corner and I wanted it to all match and be the same tone of white. So that is what I did with the brush tool with the exposure turned all the way up. Again, you don't have to do this and this is something that's going to be different every time you edit the photo. It's based upon how you took the photo. So I sometimes don't have to do this at all and the selective tool works perfectly fine. But in this case, I did need it. But again, super easy to do. And I like the fact that you can turn it red so you know exactly what you're touching. And if you go over, you can always erase it. So now there is your before and after. The after definitely looks more accurate to what you would see it without the super dark shadows. And super easy to do. And like I said, Snapseed is a free app. I believe it is made by Google. So I believe it should be available on both iPhone and Androids. So iOS and Androids super easy and that is how I edit the majority of my nail art photos. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I think that is it. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!